Hello everyone and welcome to a quick tutorial on RPG developer Bakin. I'm going to show you how to make a 3D animation um, fluid, fluidly, excuse me, and so they don't break. Uh, this is uh, with help from Otson Ford in the Discord. Uh, he helped me figure this out for my project and I just definitely think it should be shared with the community. All right. So super simple setup. Uh, I have an operation key that's assigning to B button. Um, I'm waiting to see if it's equal to two, if I'm tapping it, this is something else I was messing with. Um, and then we're going to call a common event uh, called attack. And then right here, here's the attack event. What this is doing is we're stopping the motion and this is the whole key to the whole system right here. So you need to make it, you can do your animation. You don't have to play the whole animation. If you can, if you want to, it doesn't matter. But the super, super key thing is that you have it wait only about 0 0.02, like 0 0.3 at the most uh, frames under the animation. What that means is if you go to resources, motions you'll see that my attack animation is 40 frames long so that means I want to have it about 0.38 <clears throat> before I have my weight animation another key thing is say you wanted to add a sound to the attack like maybe uh, we'll do the cursor that's fine uh, and we'll just turn the volume down because it's too loud probably well, about right there um you would want to have it wait. You'd still want to make sure that, like, say if you wanted to have it, uh, I don't know, like 0. 0.2 seconds in, like right here. You would take, make it 0. 0.2, 20. So two seconds about, then the sound to play, but then you have to take the remainder of your uh, animation length and make sure it equals the same. So since I have, 20 and 18 that'll be 38 you want to make sure that it equals the same uh, amount of time in between attack to wait so like say you needed to shoot um, or generate an event for like an action battle system you do it about right here and then you wait and then you want to have at least a 0.1 second uh, buffer and then you enable play operation so you apply and then if you test play then you can hit B all you want you can spam it it's not going to break your animation you can't move unfortunately because that's just how blocking is uh, it doesn't like having moving and attacking at the same time but yeah yeah so that's a super simple quick uh tutorial um thanks for watching and i'll see y'all on the next one bye bye